Well, while you were all arguing about your foundational black America and you weren't paying attention to the real politics, Joe Biden let in 10 million people right underneath your nose that's going to make your vote irrelevant within the generation. Well done, you're so clever. Isn't it funny? Look what we're talking about. You need to pass this on to a South African because the South African needs to see what happens when society breaks down and there's racial violence. You know the type of racial violence you've been bellyaching about that you think Julius Malema is promoting with his kill the ball. Do you want to see racial violence? I'll show you racial violence. It's funny. South Africa went from the apartheid regime, the brutal apartheid regime, FW, the clerk, PW, both, all, all those genocidal nutcases. And you had your rainbow coalition and you, and you had your peaceful transition. You know what I didn't see in South Africa? You know what I didn't see? I didn't see lots of boars being rounded up. I didn't see their women violated. I didn't see their women carted off, put in the back of four by fours. Looked like they'd been violated every which way from Sunday and then driven off to an unknown fate. I didn't see that. I didn't see bodies of Europeans being driven off. And it's quite funny because... I've been watching all of this stuff and, you know, they're trying to make my heart bleed. But then you're talking about all of these kids going to a peace festival half a mile away from the biggest open prison in the world and having a peace party there and having a party there, thudding music. Those are the children of their oppressors having a party within earshot, right? And, oh, could, could the average Palestinian attend that rave, that peace festival? No, they couldn't. Why? Because they were boarded in those barbed wire and there was a wall. And then you're going to have a peace festival on the border of the biggest open air prison on the face of the planet Earth, the most densely populated place on the face of the planet Earth. Your children are going to party there. Let me give you an equivalency. That would be the same as some English kids and some Welsh kids and some Scottish kids going over to a peace party to party outside Soweto during the heady days of the apartheid regime. Where are you going, Johnny? I'm going to a peace festival. Where? Near Soweto. Yeah, under the apartheid regime. In fact, you had something similar. Didn't you have Sun City where they wanted people to come down and you even made a tune. The Americans made a tune saying, ah, I ain't going to play Sun City. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you remember that tune, yeah? Remember that? Um, yeah, because it's kind of, uh, it's immoral to go somewhere and party and enjoy yourself while people are being oppressed. Hey, side note, in, when it comes to us human beings, yeah, human beings tend not to like being oppressed by an oppressor and live underneath their boot as you spit in their face and live around them. They tend to rebel. They tend to rise up. And in that day, they tend to slaughter everybody that looks like the enemy. Right? Do you think those Palestinians decided to distinguish between a German or an English person? They went for anyone that looked European because there was a racial dynamic to it, like black and white, like Palestinian and Israeli, like Boer and Hausa. Yeah, <clears throat> or you know that type of distinction. So if you really want to see where it goes off and how it goes bad, and say, kill the boar, it's inciting racial violence. There's racial violence there. Do you not see the girl that pulled out the back of the car and put into the side? Like, um, ugh, I don't even want to make jokes. This is disgusting, right? But that's the type of societal breakdown that that worries me, and it happens in Israel right now. Here's the thing: everyone has been racking their brains. Why do it? What's the advantage? Well, how does Hamas get any advantage out of this? And back to the matter is, they don't really. There weren't enough men. They don't have any weapons. They don't have any armor. They don't have any artillery. They don't have any air force. So they weren't going to decapitate the Knesset. They weren't going to get BB. They weren't going to overthrow the government. So why do it? All they were doing was waking a sleeping giant. And that's the plan. Right, it's going to result in one of two things, the expulsion of all Palestinians from the Gaza Strip, no more Gaza Strip, or the brutality of that occupation will start and the Arab world will rise up. We're getting there. America's weighing in. Under Joe Biden, give me a break, that octogenarian nutcase who's live right now as I'm speaking. Yeah, of course he'll get stuck in. You Americans are so generous. You stand with Ukraine. You stand with Israel. I just saw a United Nations vote okay about informing countries as to pathway to self-determination you know freedom right should the united nations have their own department that shows countries how to get free do you know who voted against it do you know who voted against that bill israel and the united states and another two countries pussied out 
United Kingdom and France. They abstained. All of the 135 countries, they voted, yeah, in favour. That's a good thing. We should teach countries how to get free and be self-determinant. Do you know who didn't? Colonialist nations. If I landed on planet Earth right now and looked at that and I had to determine who the most evil people on the planet would be, uh, uh, you got four countries standing against another 135. Uh, what agenda are you on? So it looks bad. One more thing, just before I go. Right, any um, Democrats out there? Remember I made a video mocking Roland Martin, telling you to vote for Joe Biden. Who knows you better than the wolf? Yeah, are you happy with your vote now? By the way, how does it feel to be a black person voting for the Democrats when Joe Biden was actually help, helping the French repress the West Africans? I thought it was really sad that as I was streaming, Ibrahim Toure, you know, the charismatic leader of Burkina Faso that turned up in his army gear, while he was saying that the um, the slave too cowardly to rebel is, is unworthy of sympathy, right? Um, precipitating a series of coups in West Africa. Kais Sinat had the flower of American youth acting the fool in New York. While you had Mr. Mink Slider dividing you, talking about foundational black American and tethers and shit like that. While they, while that plan was put, I, t I said it was a plan. I said it was a diversionary plan to keep you, un keep you separated. No unity. Because remember, Hugh Brewer's came along and told you that you were all together. But no, you want to listen to the, the, the big lip mix slider. Okay, well, while you were all arguing about your foundational black America and you weren't paying attention to the real politics, Joe Biden let in 10 million people right underneath your nose that's going to make your vote irrelevant within the generation. Well done, you're so clever. You're so clever. Oh, no, no, keep arguing about your tethers and who, who created hip-hop and who was the foundational... Yeah, no, you keep arguing about that stupid shit. You keep arguing about that stupid shit. Within a generation, your vote ain't going to make no difference. Oh, shit, what I just heard? You got... Bombings, bombings. I'm hearing impacts. See, but still, I'm live with Gaza now. You're still hearing impacts on Gaza anyway. Debate the cause is back. Streaming. I'm actually streaming. I don't make videos. I'll be streaming. So look out for my lives. Right. Otherwise known as Catch a Freeman. I'm Catch a Freeman on the Debate the Cause channel. I'll be doing politics on the lives. If you want to see what's going on in Gaza, I've been following. I'm day five now. Remember, and the ground operation still hasn't started. So things are about to get tasty yeah anyway i'm back in the lives i'm just making this video for people to see the video i'm not even because so, i'm not even so sure if it even comes up when i go live i've got over 700 subscribers and i don't even think anyone even gets a notification when i go live so i've got to make this video to let you know i'll be in the lives i'll do an afternoon show and then an evening show just purely politics on this channel if you see me doing games on the channel don't hold it against me man yeah i gotta do something to get the brain out of some of the horrors that I'm looking at on a regular basis. Anyway, peace. I'm gone. I am the king and will not be. I am the king and king, king, king and will not be.